Poor George! <laughs> he is actually so good. I'm surprised by his size and his fastness. His audio is super loud though. That could get really annoying. But what I find really interesting is that his connections, like speaker jack or thing to plug him into the wall, are underneath his hands. They're like hidden, really good right there. And I think that is awesome, especially with his unique base and his unique design. You can't really plug it into his chest because that's spinning around. He's very symmetrically designed with two heads and two sides with buttons and not two heads, two faces. Also, the design on his face is fantastic on both of them. But because he is so symmetrical, you could be on both sides and he'll work just as well. I'm definitely going to have him up high so that when he first starts off, he'll like lean towards the guests and people will walk around him and see the other side of him just doing the same thing. I'm aware that I have his head switched around because his smiley face is supposed to go along with the orange buttons, not buttons, pom-poms. But I just like the smiley face being in the front where the sensor is more. Interestingly, that's how they had him at Flagship. And that is where I bought him. That was an awesome trip and such an awesome prop. Now let's see a proper demo.